It's one o'clock in the morning. We're in downtown Sturgeon Bay, Third Avenue, which is the main drag. And I'm laying in the middle of the street. I've been waiting for conditions like this for a long time to take this shot. The weather's nasty. It's about 40 degrees. There's a 40 mile an hour northeast wind and uh, it's raining. But these are the exact conditions I wanted to get this shot. So it's been almost impossible to get out and photograph. So uh, I'm laying in the middle of the street because I can't. I don't know that I'll ever have this opportunity to do this again. We're looking down Third Avenue here in the southeast direction. We're right near the intersection of Kentucky Street and Third. And uh, I'll show you the shot I have in mind. All right. Well, the rain has let up a little bit. The wind seems to have calmed down a bit as well. So that's good. So we can get our shot in here. Now, I'm not sure what lens to use. I put on a 24 to 105 lens and a uh, circular polarizer to see if I can get rid of at least some of this glare. Shooting in manual mode. First thing I need to do is level this thing. These street lights make for nice light. The wet street is uh, it's nice as well. I mean, want to get a little bit lower here. Now, like most communities, we have a uh, safer at home or stay in place order. So I'm really not supposed to be out here, I guess, but I would say that my social distancing isn't an issue right now, given that uh, there's no one around. See if I can get this sewer cover in here, manhole cover in the foreground. I think I'm going to need a wider angle lens. Uh, anyway, we'll try this, focusing in the distance here. That's not bad. What are you doing? I was just uh, taking some shots here from in the middle of the road. I figured since you know there was nobody around late at night here Six that I could. Feet. Six feet. Sorry. I drove down by ship, Bay Ship, for a few minutes. I came back here and it was raining pretty hard. I'm glad the rain stopped, but I, I wanted to get a photograph of the glare on the streets from the rain and, and that sort of thing. So. Well, that was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay then.
So I go to get my shot set up. There's nobody around. It's 1.10 in the morning. This guy comes along and he parks right here. So I had to reconfigure my shot. Now there's a car coming. I got to get out of the roadway. So let me show you what I have set up here in a second. So I'm shooting with a 24 to 105 lens. I'm shooting at about uh, 20 millimeters. Half second exposure, F4, which is wide open on this lens, ISO 200. And I have having to do a uh, focus stack here because I want to get these double yellow lines coming in from the, the center bottom in focus here and focus out to infinity. So I'm focusing about three feet out in front of the uh, lens here and then I'm focusing much further down on one of those street lights a block or so down. So, so here we go. Focus in the foreground. Focus on the back ground. That should do it. That's our shot. Take this home and see what we've got. Get in where it's warm. This guy, this guy is the one who snuck up on me. Turned on his, what do you call them? Takedown lights. Takedown lights. See, my generation, they were Mars lights. So, yeah. I'm old. That was before they landed on the moon, right? It was before they landed on the moon. So he comes up behind me, turns on the takedown lights, scares the crap out of me. But this is my good friend, Andrew Kraft. Officer Andrew Kraft, or as I like to call him, Officer Square Nuts. <laughs> because he's so regimented from the Navy, right? Ever in the Navy? Seven years. Seven years in the Navy and uh, two tours mm -hmm. in the Middle East. So thank you for your service, you. by the way. Yeah. So Andrew and I actually met uh, down by the canal one spring morning when the freighters were going out. And I went down to take some photos of the freighter. I think Colleen was with me. And uh, we met you down there. And uh, yeah. You're out on the pier in front of my shot. You were in my shot. I had everything perfect. The lighting and everything was perfect. <laughs> and you were in my shot. And I kept thinking, what is this guy doing? He's totally oblivious to everything that's going on. That's no, him. that's not true. Yeah. That's not true. Yeah. That's not me. I'm very respectful of other photographers. Maybe it's because they saw you didn't have a professional camera. Could have been. <laughs> it's back when I had my Rebel yet. Yeah, so I thought maybe, you know, this isn't a real photographer yeah. guy. So it's okay, if I get in, it's okay if I get in his shot. No, I would never <laughs> do that. You know, and I hate when people do that to me. And it happens all the time. So, but anyway, yeah, so uh, we became photography buddies and then we started uh, going around the county uh, together, you know, shooting and continue to do so. Haven't done it in a while. Learned a lot from you. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm older, more experienced. Absolutely. So, what else? How's, how's uh, Tracy doing? God bless her. God Good. bless her. She has to put up with this guy. Yeah. Most days I just stay in the garage. <laughs> so what happens you live with three women. <laughs> yeah. Three women? Yeah. The dogs are giving a girl. The so dog. <laughs> I was wondering if so we, we like going out for fish fries together. <clears throat> Colleen and I and, and uh, what's your name? Andrew. Andrew. And Tracy yeah. and uh, their daughter, Caitlin. Not the dog. And uh, <clears throat> there was one day we were out for fish fry. I remember I started talking to the waitress. And I, I happened to mention that you were a police officer here in yeah, town. and I told you not to. And then you saw why. 
<laughs> and so she, it ended up that like he had arrested her son or something, and she's given him this all is, kinds of grief. And yeah, this is why I tell everybody I'm, I'm a garbage man. I, just, <laughs> yeah. I pick up everybody's refuse. Yeah, no. He says he says to me, this is why I tell people that I work for the city, and when they ask what I do, I say I pick up the trash. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. So. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. That won't ever happen again, Officer Square, and that's honest. Honest. So, well, we have this whole town to ourselves. And, you know, look at this guy over here. I went to line up my shot, mm -hmm. and he parks his big truck right in my shot. So there, there's never any cars parked along here, or trucks parked along here. But uh, it's nice down here. It's nice and quiet. And, and, you know, this is the look I was going for, too. With the rain and the, the wet streets and the uh, street lights, it's nice. just to show the desolation of the, the town during this weird and strange time we're living in. You know, mm -hmm. so absolutely. All right. Well, I imagine you have to go uh, find a parking lot, do some paperwork, eat a donut, or I have to go take a nap. Go to. <laughs> no, I can't sleep on the watch. That's for sure. No, I, I wouldn't expect you would. No, not with your Navy training, right? No, so. I would never fall asleep on that. All right, man. Well, uh, I'm going to get some more beer roll and then let's, let's closely oh, head home. It's cold. It's colder than I expected. So. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Officer Square Nuts. And, uh, yeah, I'll go. yeah, I'll give you the old one. And uh, hopefully we can get together for fish fry soon. Absolutely. All right, buddy. Thanks. So that made for a, <laughs> an interesting night altogether between the weather and having Andrew sneak up on me, turn on his takedown lights, scared the hell out of me. I thought I was in big trouble. But then now uh, we had a nice visit. Hadn't seen him in a while because of all what's going on. And he's on uh, kind of restricted movement around the county. He can't leave the county and uh, you can't socialize, so none of us can really socialize. But uh, yeah, and then, you know, shooting down the street here. I think this is gonna really turn out nice. Uh, I've been look looking forward to this and uh, pretty happy with what I saw in the back of the camera. So it's a matter of just seeing if it, uh, if it turned out once we get it into Lightroom, so. But another fun, an interesting middle of the night adventure this time behind the door. Thanks for tuning in and uh, please hit subscribe and the like button if you'd like. Uh, I'd appreciate that very much and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you down the road. Thanks again. <laughs>